Isaac Newton's mother forced him to become a farmer. His mother left when he was three. His stepfather didn't want him in their house. The boy who would change science lived with his grandparents. He found comfort in books and mechanical projects. He spent hours creating intricate sundials. These devices could tell time down to the minute. At 16, his mother suddenly wanted him back. She pulled him from school. He needed to become a farmer like his late father. His teachers saw his potential. They convinced his mother to let him return. Newton found his way to Trinity College at Cambridge. When a bully attacked him at school, Newton chose an unusual revenge. He became the top student. He graduated from university just as the Great Plague hit London. The university closed temporarily. Newton returned to his mother's garden. This forced break became his most productive period. He developed his early ideas about calculus. He explored optics. He began thinking about gravity. Yet beneath his scientific pursuits lay a complex personality. Newton kept detailed records of his daily life. He maintained a journal of his sins. He listed 57 transgressions. Some entries were surprisingly relatable. He confessed to making pie on a Sunday night. He admitted to eating an apple in church. His relationship with his family remained strained. In one journal entry, he threatened to burn his mother's and stepfather's house. His solitary nature followed him into adulthood. He often lectured to empty classrooms at Cambridge. He forgot to eat when absorbed in work. He had few close friends. His temper became legendary in scientific circles. He engaged in fierce rivalries with other scientists. He refused to share his discoveries for years. When he did publish, his works changed science forever. His insights came at a personal cost. He suffered two nervous breakdowns. After the second one, he left scientific research. He took a position at the Royal Mint instead. There, his determination found a new outlet. He personally tracked down counterfeiters. He went undercover in taverns to catch criminals. He saw them prosecuted and executed. Newton never married. He likely never dated. Some historians believe he died having never been intimate with anyone. His dedication to science came with quirks. He once stuck a needle between his eye and socket. He wanted to understand how vision worked. He stared at the sun until he saw only red and blue. When he died at 84, his hair contained mercury. This toxic exposure came from his secret passion, alchemy. Behind closed doors, the greatest mind in science hunted for ways to turn lead into gold. In fact, Newton wrote more about mystical pursuits than scientific theories. He took his most fervent passion to the grave. 